Okay guys, we're back with a new episode of Grey's Anatomy. I'm very excited to see what's going to happen in this one. I think it's going to be connected to how the Station 19 episode ended, which I just watched, that there was an African-American man murdered by a police officer the way George Floyd was murdered. So they're making allusion to that, and I think probably they're going to deal with that in this episode. So I can't wait to see it, and let's just get started with it. Let's do it. So I guess Jackson wasn't aware. I can't look at my phone without 15 news alerts popping up. It's like it's cursed. He called the staff to take time if they need it. To rest, protest, worry about whether their fiancé is going to make it across country in one piece. Anything. Honey. I'll come back if you need me. It may take me some time to get here, but uh, I'll make it. Wait, back, back from where? I'm protesting, Bailey. Something important is happening out there, and I'm not going to miss it. These moments save lives, too. Yeah. You go give them hell. Go. Did you read my proposal for setting up the free COVID testing and treatment site for low-income patients? I mean, Ortiz's connections are I make a real love impact. having you know, her here. Lights on as it is, baby. I but love her. We'll revisit it when the revenues improve. You want us to wait till COVID's over before we can open a COVID site, Mom? Come on. Okay, Dr. Ortiz and I put a lot of really good time and effort into this. She's got great ideas. Just let me get through this week, okay? I'm late for my meeting. Uh, love you. This week. Uh, I hope she... Avery... Do something with that, yes, please. Hey, everything okay? Been better, man. What happened? You don't have... Seattle real estate is the Hunger Games with kitchens. <laughs> so, I want this place. I'm going to need to make an offer <laughs> soon. Okay, I'll look at it. I yeah, promise. they don't live together. They got to move in together, but they live Next in different talk, cities. It'll be in person. Be careful, please. Extra careful. Always. I love you. Love you. I like them. I really like them together. Cops did this. Neo Nazis did this. Counter protesters, I think they're called. Kept up my boy with a billy club. I jumped in between them just in time. Ah. Oh. Got you good. Must have been scary. Proud, yeah. That's just Next crazy, time. God. And they're 18. They can protest all they want. Right now, they're going to stay home. How could they just home. throw a, a, a rock at you? I'd be fine with that. It's like. She was hit with a tear gas canister. Shot, not hit. Shot. Oh, God. That's crazy. Is you ready for us to move you? Hey, ho, ho. Come on, girl. Let's go. Hey, hey, ho, ho. Come on, girl. Let's go. Well, she's in a good mood for where it happened. You're wondering if he prefers using the bathroom with the door wide open or puts ketchup on his eggs. Who puts ketchup on their eggs? Over 54% of Americans, actually. Okay, roots here. Let's go. I mean, sometimes. Not much, but I do. I mean, I guess I could. I put mayo on eggs. Okay, like, on a, Houston, 22, on a boiled egg, egg right? Like Why am I <laughs> saying this? <laughs> Crap, is that Meredith Grey? Maybe. But don't talk to her. I'm under strict orders from the chief to not cause Dr. Grey any stress. Of course, no problem. <laughs> Just uh, oh God. floating. Like. I think you should move her, right? Hey, you make room or not? How much, Mitt? What's your problem? <laughs> we gotta share now. <laughs> Mr. Anderson, is it possible that you've been exposed to COVID-19? No, uh, that's, that's a no. Why do you mask put your mask up. down, dude? You're Move in a hospital. Move him to an isolated room and give him a full workup and a COVID test. Page me with the results. Okay, hey, Doc, look, I'll take the workup, okay? Why do you keep your test test putting test your mask yeah, down? What's not real? COVID. Brought up like a sheep, all right? I know, it's a scam. I'm tired of people saying COVID is a scam. I'm tired. It's happening. People are dying. Why how, how can you not see this? I, I don't understand it. Honestly, I don't. It's like you, you saying cancer isn't real. The flu isn't real. I don't know. It's like, what is real then? I don't, I'm sorry, but it, it just bothers me that you think COVID is a scam, which is actually a disease. I have friends that have had COVID. How can you say it's a scam? And they couldn't taste anything and they were coughing and everything. And I don't understand how you can say it's not real. I, I'm just beyond this. I'm beyond this. Like, do you not live in the world? Are you isolated? Like, he lives in a city. How can you? I don't know. 
I don't know. I'm just, this just doesn't make sense, guys. The people that say that COVID is a scam. I don't understand in what way it's a scam. It's like any other disease, okay? It's just that it's a pandemic because it spreads very fast. That's the reason why we're like this. I don't know. I just don't get it. I'm sorry, too, because I had to discharge all of this. You know, I'm a reactor that needs to discharge everything that I hear that I don't understand. It's like I have to say something. And you can disagree with me, of course, as I said before, but I just need to say what I think. And you can like come and say something else completely with respect, obviously. I'm not, I'm just saying that I don't get how you think this is a scam when it's like literally a disease and people are getting sick. People I know have, have gotten COVID and, and there are people that also uh, have conditions and COVID lowers their defenses and kills them, you know? So I don't know. I don't understand how it can be a scam. Okay, I'm sorry. I've talked too much. Let's go. <laughs> How's she doing? And then it was frightening and then messy, but it was still beautiful. I mean, there were young people handing out water and masks. It, it was organized. And there was this this feeling in the air. It's, you have to put yourself on the line to be part of it. But good trouble lights you up, you know? Yeah, sure. Yeah. I oh, love going standard. to March. Ah. It's, oh, well, the no, feeling of being involved, there is God. just... And trying to change muscles. something yeah. is well, amazing. Well, let's book an OR and extract it. Mike? Maggie, I can't, I can't talk now. I'm being pulled. I'm being pulled over. Wait, Mike, you're being pulled over by the... By the police, yes, I gotta go. No, 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 Winston, don't hang up. Turn on your camera if you can, but do not hang up the phone. I will stay on the line with you. Yes. Oh, God, that just gives me goosebumps. I innovated a COVID patient on the fly the other day. Never could have done that a couple of years ago. And my lung merit suture is what she taught me. They're, they're getting better. Every win I've had, anytime I do something right, I hear her voice in my head. She's the most influential teacher I've ever had. <laughs> even when she's asleep. I really hope I get to operate with her one day. Yeah, me too. She's gonna wake up, so you'll have the chance to do it. Why was he pulled over? Music off, hat off, hands on the wheel. License and registration, sir. How you doing today, officer? I'm well, just taking her easy. Can you tell me why you pulled me over? Winston, are you there? I can't hear anything. I'm gonna need you to turn off your phone, sir. Oh, it's just my fiance. <laughs> She's up in Seattle. Your phone, sir? Mr. Indugu, are you failing to comply? Why can't you have your phone on? What's the problem with that? That's awful, like... Why can't you... Winston! Turn your phone on. It's, that's not illegal to have your phone on, right? Well, you saw her. She wasn't phased. She was, she was energized. You know, there's power in galleries like that. You know, I mean, <laughs> where the truth brings so many people together. I mean, She's you know. like, I have this thing in my body, but I'm cool. <laughs> Actually, no, I don't. Oh, gosh. Honestly, I've never been to a real protest. Seems like every time folks took to the streets, I always had a reason not to. I had to work. I had to study. I could always see how useful money was to the cause, you know? So I guess I always felt that writing a check was a worthwhile substitute. And hell, maybe it is. In this country, at least. Well, I don't have money, so I gotta go to you the street because I, I can't help in a different way. It's good that he got also help like that, though, because he has the means to do it. Mask up, Mr. Anderson. Sir, I forgot the whole coronavirus. Sir, I need you to listen to me. Oh, God. Your COVID test came back positive. Additionally, you have ground glass opacities in your lungs. That's why you're having trouble breathing. You have what's being referred to as COVID toe. COVID toe? Yes. Really, this is the best you got? COVID toe? <laughs> you guess you've been trying? <laughs> this ultrasound of your leg reveals a clot that we need to treat immediately. So... Okay, well, whose leg is that? 
I figured out those little coal the y'all are so terrified of. Biggest money maker since cryptocurrency. Speaking of, how, how do you get your kickbacks? I mean, is it like a flat fee from every patient that you diagnose, or is it like a percentage deal? I would punch this guy in the face. Um. Uh, oh my god, I would punch this guy in the face. Oh my god, blood oxygen is dangerously low your lungs are getting worse and if i'm just like i don't give a shit if he died travel to you your don't lungs and kill you we're seeing cases like yours all of the time sir this is not just a cold it's not asthma this won't magically go away sir please let us admit you so because even if you are a little bit wrong it could be fatal you know i'm still waiting on that albuterol prescription doc Okay, you know, these people, if you don't want to help, you die. You want to die? Okay, go ahead and die. It's like, if you have have it mild, okay, good. So what are you thinking? This guy doesn't seem to have it mild, so... I think the rubber bullet bruised his heart. His troponin levels are elevated. We gotta get him to the CCU. All this from a rubber bullet? It wasn't a rubber bullet. It's a metal bullet encased in rubber, fired from a gun at a human being. Then I'm going to be fired at close range or directly. Yeah, the metal bullets can answer. also kill you. It's, it's less likely, but it can. Uh, uh, might want to help his sedation. Sedation, right. Uh, Quick, before he... Oh, <gasps> Anatomy, but that was a lot to watch. It's been 20 minutes, and I don't know where he is. And I have a so I, I, I need somebody to go and find him now, Good. right now. All right, Maggie. All right, I'll give it some more time. If there's still no word, I will get into my car and I will look for him myself. Give me a phone. Okay. I need to know how he is. Where is he? Where is Winston?